Welcome everyone. I am Ladybird Spirit Light and today I wanted to discuss what is light language. Uh, for me, light language um, is a way, a new form of communication that is channeled uh, from other beings, other dimensions, other versions of you if you're in a healing session. Um, it can be your spirit guides. It's just a way of um, another form of communication and it can be spoken. You can uh, use hand movement or body movement or you can write it out. Uh, it comes in all three modes. Uh, and what I find at the core of it is, is a higher vibra vibrational messaging that's coming through. Uh, and by not being able to understand it per se, um, it allows, when you're doing a healing with someone, it allows it to bypass the mind. So you don't get stuck on what's happening, why is it happening, when is it going to happen, all of that. You just feel it and you sit and feel it. So for me, um, a lot of the light language I, I have channeled um, straight through my I am presence, my higher self presence um, for the most direct access. I don't like uh, to, you know, I create sacred space, but I also have a very specific contract with them. So if I end up going for a walk and I'm light language flows through uh, for healing the plants or the animals. Um, that is a non-interference because I've you know already made the contract that everything comes through a very you know highly secured level of way of uh, communication. However, but back to a little bit more about light language. So, like I said, it comes out in different dialects, um, different forms, different vibrations. And I almost feel like it might be the next layer or the next level to actually being able to communicate telepathically. Um, it's a way for, currently, for us to talk in vibration, if that makes any sense. And we are always talking in vibration, but the English language or any language has its own history and its own system. So for example, if I say the word God, that can mean very different things to different people and have a different vibrational range. Some of people, you know, connect with the God as a very high vibration and then others depending on their life circumstances and beliefs could have a very low vibration of that word. With light language you don't have any of that distortion. It's pure communication straight through and yeah so it, when I'm when I'm in the light language mode and I'm communicating either you know vocally or with my hands or both um, it's really just sending direct um, it is coming the light is coming in and it's sending direct light codes and vibrations to the person that I am trying to heal or help um, and it doesn't necessarily go to that person per se. It goes within the, you know, the vibration is within their energy field, but it's also within the energy field of their highest self, over soul, you know, how, whatever you want to describe that energy as. And that way it's very fast, it's very direct, and it goes straight to your soul. So when you need it, the soul now holds all these energy healing codes that you can then have access to when the time is needed. Um, I would say light language is a lot like Reiki, um, just a verbal way, verbal Reiki. Uh, however, like I said, it's there's something about it that's very fast moving, um, and and 
I feel like uh, Reiki has its its um, its own sense of feeling to it, but uh, with light language, it's just it's so I just feel like it's so fast. Um, so a very short amount of time of doing light language and a healing session can really have massive um, impact because it's changing your vibration not only in the moment, but it's then going to be integrated over a number of days following because like I said, it's going straight to your soul. Your soul understands this language, but you might not. Um, and as I'm doing the healing for people, I also... I get feelings or visions or I get some messages, so I pop those in there when I can. But I do very short sessions, no more than 20 minutes max, uh, because it's a lot of energy, a lot to handle. Um, I do integrate the light language when I do crystal healing, when people are laying on a table, they have the crystals on them. Um, and they're, you know, in that process, in that mode of healing, light language can come in and help facilitate that. Um, yeah, so I think, you know, for me, light language is just another modality uh, for healing, but it seems to be very, um, it can be very advanced and uh, can offer so much. Um, you know, just being able to he hear the tone and, you know, voice or dialect of, you know, perhaps it's your dragon friends, fairy friends, animals, your spirit guides. There's something very touching and very special about that. And I love that I have received this gift um, as an, an offering to help heal and help contribute to everyone's ascension. So it's my, my pleasure to be here and thank you guys. Um, let me know what you think about this or how you resonate with this information in the comments below. And I'll be doing more talks about this uh, in the future. <laughs> All right, thanks so much and have a great one.